Well, first off, you look really cool when you do it, so that's got to count for something. Uh, but that's not the main reason, okay? Now, a lot of you have been in this position. Let's say you're on the, you're at some kind of Linux forum, you're at your little Reddits, whatever you kids go to nowadays. Um, and, you know, people are posting their desktops, okay? And there's always that one guy, at least one guy, sometimes more. Uh, but there's always that one guy, usually an Arch user. He posts his desktop and everything's terminals, all right? Music in the terminal, visualizer in the terminal. He has a terminal file browser, terminal web browser sometimes. He's a, he has a little terminal with all his Chinese girl cartoons in it and shit. And you are probably looking at that wondering, what is wrong with this guy? Why is he doing this to himself? Is he, is he some kind of hipster? Is he trying to torture himself, make it difficult, you know, to do basic things? Why do you have to do things in the terminal? Um, now, I just wanted to say, there might be people out there who are want to be technology hipsters and want to do things in the terminal, but doing things in the terminal is better in terms of customizability, in terms of uh, getting what you want. Now, for most users, using a GUI program is totally fine. If you want to use Thunar, Nemo, Nautilus for your file, br file browser, that's great, okay? But if you really want a customizable workflow, Using a terminal browser like ViaFM or Ranger is a great, a great move to make. Now, why is that so? Now, just generally, why terminal applications are usually better is because they, are, they follow the Unix philosophy better, right? So the idea is, uh, the Unix philosophy is like, do one thing and do one thing well, and then allow for the customization uh, that the user might want to change things the way they want to, mani to manipulate text in different ways, and when you have a lower order program, that's usually what you get. So if I go to my Ranger, I have a video on my Ranger file browser, I can customize every single shortcut, every key press is mapped to something. Like I can move files all around my computer just by, you know, a couple key presses. I can modify images with a couple shortcuts. I've customized all those to my liking, okay? I can't do that on Thunar. I can't do that on Nemo. There might be some very indirect way of doing it or, you know, loading my own options into the, the menu bar, but the, even that would take a lot of clicks, okay? So terminal applications are great because they are so lower level. Uh, you can do all these great things with them. Same thing with my music player. Like, so I have a uh, music on console player. Uh, I can give it whatever kind of shortcuts I want it to use, uh, and I can do the specific actions that me and only me is going to want to do on my music, or, you know, on my files, or no matter what else, whatever else I'm using, okay? Now, the corollary of that, of the terminal programs, is also you are moving from the medium of the keyboard and the mouse, to just the keyboard. And what's nice about that is, well, first off, ergonomics. Your your fingers are all in one place at one time. So that's really nice. You won't you, you won't even realize how much more efficient you are until you do it. Um, so th that's great. And a lot of people will get confused by terminal applications. They're like, oh god, it's so hard because we don't have a menu bar. I, I'd like to have that. But when you think about it, your keyboard becomes your menu bar. And you get to choose what every single key does, what every single key press is. And that's the great thing about terminal applications. Again, because they are lower level, because they are simple, uh, not only are they loading faster, not only are you getting what you want faster than you would with a GUI application, but you can start customizing them to do whatever you want, specifically what you want. Uh, and that's why everyone has configs that do all the stuff that they want. Because, you know, what I do with my files might be different from what you do. And having terminal applications is great for each individual person to have their own stuff. Now, so that, that's the argument. I will say a lot of you, um, you know, you might have seen my distro video, and I'm going to uh, recapitulate the same philosophy here. Now, for most people, using terminal applications isn't necessarily the solution. It might be easier for them to use GUI things. They only need to do one or two, you know, they just need to be able to copy and paste. Maybe that's fine with you. Um, so not everyone uh, might want to get into terminal applications, but those of you who do want to do very specific things, or those of you who just want to be able to customize or do things efficiently, terminal applications are always the way, the way to go. Because they're really, uh, because they are so extensible, you can just do whatever you want with them. So anyway, that's just the case. Um, you can be a hipster. You know, you do get comments, you know, when you're in class or something, and, you know, some girl's like, wow, you you look really smart, you must know about computers, and, you know, I'll just be like, yeah, no, baby, I'm just faking it, but, you know, I fake it pretty well. Um, you, 
there is an appeal to using terminals, it does look cool, but it's, it's really about efficiency. Like, if I could not get what I get done as efficiently as I do now, there's no reason I shouldn't be using Ubuntu Unity. Um, you know, that, which is a fine desktop. Every desktop's fine, they're all great. Um, but anyway, so that, that's the case, that's the case for terminals. If you want to customize a workflow, try them out. Uh, I'm going to put some in the video description, you can check out my other videos. But anyway, so that's it. Oh, my nose. So itchy today. Alright, have a good one.